Alright, hi everyone. Uh, I just wanted to make this video really quickly because I know this is a really difficult tame and I think I finally figured it out. So, uh, if you want to tame Hyenodons in Ark, uh, what you first have to do is uh, build a taming pen. I built this like a 2x2 two two, and you want to have a hatch frame ceilings. And uh, this works best in uh, ghillie armor, but I think if you don't have that, uh, the door frames, or the hatch frames, excuse me, should still be enough. But yeah, so if you don't know what you have to do to uh, tame the hyenodon, is you have to pet it regularly without it noticing you. So it's currently out of range, I can't touch it right now, but uh, hopefully once it moves, uh, it should let me pet it. Uh, earlier it aggroed on me, so I had to leave and restart because uh, in order to get the uh, Streamlabs to work and film it, I had to leave, and apparently uh, when I... Uh, left the game, it uh, made my uh, my character stand up, which alerted the hyena dawn to my position. It would be very useful for me, but if you could move like a little bit, please. Like the tiniest bit. So there you go, you see I got the prompt, and uh, it will give you a, a, a timer. So if you press E under it, it will show you that timer, and how long you have to wait to pet is usually like 30 seconds each time. So yeah, you just want to keep doing that. Uh, backing off a little bit every time you do helps. If you need to see your cursor, you can just press H. Make sure you're kind of hovering it on the body. And then just keep pressing E. I don't think there's any detriment to doing that. And it will show you the timer. So the only really difficult part of this, obviously, is if it moves somewhere uh, at the edge. You can't touch it. You could run into an issue. But... Uh, Typically, it will sit pretty still. So yeah, I'm going to see if I can tame this guy up on camera for you. And, uh, this has been one of the more uh, frustrating tames because like they say, doing it in uh, just full ghillie armor, you should be able to do it without having to build a pen or anything. But that has never, ever worked. At least not for me. So I think this works uh, much, much better. Just be very careful that you stay crouched. It only work if you crouch. If you stand up, uh, it will probably see you, and uh, if it gets spooked, you will not be able to pet it until you leave aggro range, and it will lose the uh, the affection it has really, really quickly. So yeah, as you can see, this one's being very, very good to us, and very, very still. And I'm almost uh, halfway there, so we should... I'm a third of the way there, a little bit uh, more than a third of the way there, so... We should be able to get this tamed up without a problem. So yeah, um, I guess I can just tell you a couple of facts about these guys. Uh, they do get pack bonuses, so it's uh, good if you can get more than one, but you cannot tame these if they are in a pack and the leader is still 
uh, there. So this was the leader of the pack that I separated off. Uh, typically you can't tame more than one of these at once because then it will count as uh, being in a pack. So I'm probably going to go back to where I found this guy and uh, pick up the rest of them. See now he's gone and he's moved. So hopefully he will stop somewhere convenient for us. Uh, I should still be able to reach him from there. just in case he sees me. So now he's being a little bit less uh, kind to us. Okay, but we can still pet him from here, so that's good. All right, so we're a bit more than half of me now. Uh, but yeah, these are good pack hunters. Uh, the saddle you can put on them will reduce, uh, or excuse me, increase spoiling time for uh, meat, so they're very good for taking out on hunts to collect meat, because it's easier to get back to camp that way without it spoiling, so if you want to get one for the event going on right now, that would be uh, pretty beneficial, because prime meat is probably the number one thing you're going to need for making the prime meat jerky for the new emotes and also for the costumes or the skins so uh, taming one of these up is not a bad idea I mostly just uh, want to tame these up because I want to tame everything but uh, I can definitely see how bringing this uh, different places with my RG would be pretty useful so uh, again uh, this is just a 2x2 two two pen, regular door frames on the bottom, solid walls at the top so it can't get out. And just hatch frames at the top. And obviously you pick it up with the RG to separate it from the pack if you can. You drop it in two the pen, and we've almost got it now. And yeah, once it's been dropped into the pen, then uh, this is probably one of the most surefire ways to do it without it seeing you. Alright, we are really close. This is the closest I've ever been. I would be so sad if it gets spoiled now. I think this next one should do it, and if not, it's only going to take one more after, so one or two more pets, and we should have one. Unless, of course, it moves like a jerk. Please stop moving. Okay, so it should only take one more because it's at 95. Please stop moving. At least we have 30 seconds on this, but I hate it because it's like night right now, so it's really hard to tell where it is other than the name. Please stop moving. I just have to pet you one more time. Come on. Sit still for me, buddy. <sighs> we did it. There he is. go. That's how to tame a hyena dawn. And of course, uh, once you have the trap built, obviously because it's very resource intense, you probably don't want to demolish any part of it. So what you can do is uh, you can get your RG. And you can just use your RG to take it out of the enclosure. There we go. 
Yeah, now we'll take this new board back to base. So, uh, I hope this was a useful tutorial. I know these are really hard to tame, at least for me they were. So yeah, now we have one, and I will be trying to get more the same way. The good thing is, with the uh, pen, once you have one built, if it's in a convenient place for you, this one's right next to my base, then uh, you shouldn't really have a problem reusing it. I think it does have potential to work for other passive tames, but I think uh, if you wanted to repurpose that uh, taming pen for other things, it would be less effective. But, I mean, you never know. I think the same sort of basic uh, design works for a lot of, uh, a lot of different Uh, the same basic pen design works for a lot of different creatures. I just, uh, not sure how, uh, how effective this would be for other things besides this, because, uh, again, there's not too many, uh, creatures that are this small that you're gonna need to tame a pen. But, I think it is worth the investment, and if I did have to repur uh, repurpose that pen for uh, taming other things, I could potentially do that. So yeah, uh, again, I hope, uh, hope you found this useful. Uh, if you want to support me, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and, uh, yeah, if I find out any more useful tips for taming, I will let you guys know.